Did you know that a staggering 1 billion people worldwide suffer from high blood pressure, a silent killer that can lead to heart attacks and strokes? This pervasive health issue stealthily stalks its victims, often unnoticed until it's too late. Its global prevalence is alarming, yet many remain unaware of its potential consequences. High blood pressure is not a condition to take lightly, so the need for effective control measures is paramount. So what can you do about it? Stay tuned as I reveal the top 10 effective ways to lower high blood pressure, and the last one might be the most important. First up, diet. Yes, what you eat can significantly affect your blood pressure. The secret to controlling high blood pressure might just be on your plate. A balanced diet is key here. It's not about cutting out all your favorite foods, but making healthier choices more often. Now let's talk about some foods that can help. Fruits and vegetables are packed with vitamins and minerals that can lower blood pressure. Lean proteins such as chicken and fish are excellent choices too. Whole grains like oatmeal and brown rice can also be beneficial. These foods are not only delicious but also rich in nutrients that promote heart health. But remember, it's not just about what you add to your diet, it's also about what you limit. Foods high in sodium and saturated fats can raise your blood pressure. So try to keep these to a minimum. So the next time you're at the supermarket, think about your blood pressure when choosing what to put in your cart. Second salt. It might make your food taste better, but it's not doing your blood pressure any favors. Consuming too much salt can cause your body to retain water, increasing the volume of your blood and thus your blood pressure. It's essential to be mindful of your salt intake, not just from the shaker, but also from processed foods, which often contain hidden salt. Cutting back can significantly reduce your blood pressure. Remember, less salt means less risk. Third, exercise. It's not just for weight loss, it's a magic bullet for lowering blood pressure too. You see, when you exercise, your body releases certain chemicals that help your blood vessels work better, and that results in lower blood pressure. And it's not just a temporary effect. Regular exercise can keep your blood pressure in check over the long term. Now you might be wondering, what kind of exercise should I do? Well, any physical activity that gets your heart pumping can do the trick. You can go for a brisk walk, cycle around the block, swim a few laps. Strength training can also be beneficial. The key is to find something that you enjoy and stick to it. Remember, consistency is more important than intensity, so get moving to get that blood pressure down. Fourth, relaxation. Stress can send your blood pressure skyrocketing, but relaxation techniques can bring it back down. Now you might be thinking, what's the link between relaxation and blood pressure? Well, when we're stressed, our bodies produce a surge of hormones that temporarily increase our blood pressure by causing our hearts to beat faster and our blood vessels to narrow. There are several effective relaxation techniques that can help counteract this stress response. Deep breathing exercises, for instance, can help your body to naturally relax, reducing stress hormone production and lowering blood pressure. Meditation, on the other hand, can create a sense of calm and balance that benefits both your emotional well-being and your overall health. Yoga is another fantastic way to reduce stress and lower blood pressure. It combines physical postures, breathing exercises, and meditation to promote a state of relaxation and tranquility. Fifth medication. Sometimes, lifestyle changes aren't enough, and medication becomes necessary. It's an undeniable truth that in certain cases, our bodies might need an extra helping hand to keep high blood pressure at bay. Now, when we talk about medication, it's crucial to remember that this isn't a do-it-yourself situation. It's not about popping pills based on a friend's suggestion or something you read online. No, this is about a trained medical professional prescribing what's best for you based on your health profile. Remember, medication can be a lifesaver, but only if taken correctly. Sixth, alcohol and caffeine. Now, we all love our morning cup of joe and a chilled glass of wine at the end of a long day. But did you know that both alcohol and caffeine can raise your blood pressure? High levels of alcohol can lead to multiple health problems, including heart failure, stroke, and an irregular heartbeat. Caffeine, on the other hand, can cause a short but dramatic increase in your blood pressure. Even though the effect is temporary, if you drink caffeine regularly, it could raise your overall blood pressure. 
so limiting your intake can help keep your blood pressure in check. Remember, moderation is key. It's not about giving up completely, but rather about consuming in moderation. So, think twice before you reach for that extra cup of coffee or glass of wine. It might just save you from a future health calamity. 7th Smoking We all know smoking is bad for us, but did you know it can raise your blood pressure and damage your blood vessels? This can increase your risk of developing heart disease. If you're a smoker, quitting can improve your blood pressure and overall health and the benefits begin as soon as you stop. Even if you've been a long-term smoker, it's never too late to quit. It's a tough journey, but the benefits are worth it. Remember, every cigarette you don't smoke is doing you good. So make a commitment to kick the habit and you'll be doing your heart a huge favor. Eighth, maintaining a healthy weight. Did you know that carrying extra pounds can put a strain on your heart and blood vessels, thereby increasing your risk of high blood pressure? Yes, it's true. The good news is, losing even a small amount of weight as little as 5 to 10% of your total body weight can significantly improve your blood pressure and overall health. So, aim for a healthy weight range for your height and body type. Ninth on our list are regular checkups. An often overlooked but incredibly important part of maintaining a healthy blood pressure level is scheduling and attending regular checkups with your healthcare provider. These checkups can help detect high blood pressure early even before you notice any symptoms. And as with any health issue, early detection and treatment can prevent complications down the line. So make it a habit to get your blood pressure checked at least once a year, or more often if your doctor recommends it. Remember, early detection is the best prevention. It's your health, and it's in your hands to take the necessary steps to ensure it stays in the best possible condition. Tenth, getting enough sleep. A lack of sleep not only leaves you feeling groggy and unproductive, but it can also disrupt your body's ability to regulate stress hormones, leading to high blood pressure. Like a well-oiled machine, your body needs time to rest and rejuvenate, and there's no better way to do this than by getting a good night's sleep. Aim for at least 7 hours of sleep a night. Not only will this keep your blood pressure in check, but it will also improve your mood, cognition, and overall health. So there you have it, folks. Top 10 Effective Ways to Lower Your Blood Pressure and Keep the Silent Killer at Bay Remember folks, this isn't about picking and choosing a single approach. It's about understanding that these methods work best when combined, and that a comprehensive, multifaceted approach is key to controlling high blood pressure. Enjoyed the video? Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel On Hustler for more health, wellness, and fitness content. Your path to peak vitality and fitness begins here.